It looks so beautiful. I like it. Let's give me a little spin. Give me a little spin. You look so beautiful. Are you ready? Ready? I'm so nervous. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. I'm such a crybaby. You could. When I can see the So their beautiful story goes back to the fall of 2007, and they met through mutual friends and family while both of them were still in high school. Now, after first meeting at Coral's sister's baby shower, Julian would meet up with her and walk her home from school. Then they started to hang out as often as possible. Now, this wasn't particularly easy because Coral's father was pretty strict back in those days. And I don't blame you, Dad. I would have been doing the same thing. He wouldn't allow Julian to come into the house. So they had to kind of hang out on the porch in their first little bit of dating. And after a few months of getting to know each other, on November 30th, which is 16 years ago today, they shared their first kiss, became a couple. They've been together ever since. When I can see the stars As long as there's you Then I'll be fine You see the things that are broken Things that were said Things that refuse to heal But faster and said When I'm walking on eggshells Nothing's been shared You I've decided on my safe space I've decided on my safe space So I'll run to you when I am happy or sad And even when everything around me is bad I've decided I've always known that you are the one for me and I promise to love and cherish you for the rest of my life. I promise to always be there for you and our family and take care of you in sickness and health or even if you just had a rough day and you need someone to listen to. I promise to always remember that even we need to have fun and go on dates, even if it's just going out to the movies, which I know that's one of our favorite things that we like to do. I know I'm not perfect, but I look forward to trying to be for you for the rest of my life. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you, even though I know I drive you a little crazy at times. <laughs> I hope you're ready now, because you're stuck with me for life till death. <laughs> do us part. I love you and I always will for as long as I am here in this life, always and forever. On a day like today, November 30th, 2007, as we were 16, 17 years old, he asked me to be your girlfriend. And today, 16 years later, on that same date, I'm becoming your wife. From writing love letters to each other to writing our own vows. I'm literally living a dream. Julian, I immediately knew you were the one when I saw how much you respected and honored my parents' values by asking them for permission when you wanted to take me out on dates. You're always there for Haley and I, making sure we feel safe and happy, always reassuring us and comforting us. You're such a selfless partner and father that always puts my needs and Haley's needs before your own. It has always been you, Julian, and it will always be you for better or for worse. I vow to be faithful, love you with all my heart, respect you, trust you, and value you. I will always listen to what you have to say, even when we don't agree, to compromise as we enter this new journey becoming one, building a strong foundation for not only us, but for our daughter and future growing family. I cannot be any happier in starting this new journey with you as husband and wife. I'm so ready to spend forever with you, living our happily ever after. When I was down, you lifted me In mm. you I'm found when my heart's had enough And I searched every corner for this kind of love Oh, oh you are the one that I'd never give Oh, you know that love should be patient and love.
coordinated with one of her friends to take her out to lunch. And while they were out, he decorated his soon-to-be in-law's backyard and got everything ready for a special moment. Now, just for the record, he chose to do it in the backyard. Apparently, Dad's now allowing him into the house, so that was just by choice to do that. <laughs> it's about 30 people in all. Coral walked into the backyard and was shocked to see everyone there. She then saw Julian on one knee. He had the ring in his hand. He said a little speech and followed that up with those four magical words, will you marry me? So with the authority granted to me by the state of California and the company of your family and closest friends, it is with honor and great joy that I now pronounce you husband and wife. And Julian, you may now kiss your bride. Cause I can't breathe.